Hello everyone and welcome back to another Drift Tune Breakdown with Brogue Hammer Auto House. Today we are going to be focusing on the Wellington, um, aka the S13 in CarX Drift Racing 2. I am super excited about today's episode. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through the tune setup I have on this car and we're going to jump into a bronze DP championship and show you how good this tune is by taking the car to the first place podium finish. Uh, let's jump right into it. As you can see, I don't have a body kit on this vehicle, which can make a difference in how the tune performs. So if you have a wide body, um, it, it just might not match up to how mine drives. Um, you can see me um, working through the tunes there. Ackerman on this one is quite a bit lower than it is on most of my other cars. I'm not sure why, but the drive um, just felt best when I lowered that down. So... Um, as you see, the retraction, all that, um, you can pause it and go back to your apps and change the settings if you'd like. I run negative one camber in the rear, 10 degrees of toe, almost no sway bar in the rear, but a tiny bit, and then I do a full lock sway bar in the front. You can see I have the spring size set to the same exact heights as each other, as well as the wheel size. Uh, I run a square setup, they're 19 by 265 with a 40% profile, front and rear. Uh, the engine is maxed out on the Pro Drift 3 tune, and the transmission is adjusted here. Um, you can play with all the numbers. This one in particular, I have adjusted fourth and fifth gear like I do on most of my tunes. Um, fourth gear is quite a limiter tune, as I typically do it anyways. Um, and then fifth gear is almost a one-to-one -one ratio, so um, that's pretty standard for real-world drift cars and that kind of stuff, that one-to-one -one in the final gear. So, uh, no axis width on either front or rear, uh, mass all the way down, center mass down. Um, I just like how it felt without poking out the wheels or doing anything goofy like that. Um, I've just noticed that if you get into that a little too much, it can adjust. So, we're gonna jump into some tournaments here, the little championships that you can do. Um, this one is actually a practice run that I did um, before qualifying started. I was just doing a training exercise um, to see how it was feeling, kind of feel out the course and everything. And run a nice wide line, get to the wall, transition, get out to the wall again, um, keep that momentum around the corner. Um, I've expressed in previous videos before that I really hate doing these championships. Sometimes they really get on my nerves because... Um, although I try to do the cleanest lead run I possibly can, um, it can fall out. So I qualified about sixth. Um, this is my top 32 run. I don't show all three runs that I ran just to keep the video a little shorter. So I just show the best run out of my three in chase. You can see this guy took a big jump off me at the start, but I knew from previous runs that he went into the wall there so I could kind of catch back up to him. I hate the entry on this particular course at St. Petersburg. That just really is tough to change your gear. I, I'm always in manual mode. Change your gear and then also turn into the corner right off the bat. And it gives you almost no time. So I won that battle. Um, now we're in the top 16. Um, this is also my best run that I had against this particular player um, for the top 16. Again, falling back off that entry is just like unavoidable. But then I really suck it into his door here and Luckily, I don't touch him, so I keep my multipliers and everything um, active. He had this weird thing where he was fading down here and then re-enters drift, and like I said, with my frustration with people's lead runs, um, I know that not everybody's a, you know, a good drifting driver in this game. There's beginners, there's new people, so they're not going to be perfect. I understand that. Um, this is my top eight battle, I believe. Um, if I can remember correctly, I just did it about an hour ago. And ran through the whole deal. This particular player was on sport tires as well, so I just matched him with that. Um, was able to stick with him pretty well. I noticed a lot of Wellingtons in this particular uh, championship. I'm not sure why, but you'll see when I get to the final fours, um, all four vehicles in the final fours were Wellingtons, but that's a good thing because they're easier to chase when you have the same car and all of that. Um, I, with different cars, obviously they drift differently and it's you gotta make a lot more adjustments. So, here is my final four run. 
Um, this guy was on semi-slick tires, so I did fall back quite a bit right away, but I had switched my vehicle to semi-slicks um, from the get-go uh, after I noticed after the first chase run of his, or where I first chased him, I was on sports, and you just can't keep up. So, switched over to the semi-slicks. Luckily, this tune does work pretty well with the semi-slicks. Um, Sometimes it grips up a little too much in that fourth gear, even fifth gear. All right, so this is now, I won that last battle as well. This is the championship finals. Um, I ended up taking the victory in this one, which I was kind of surprised because I didn't have a fantastic chase run. Um, it was okay, but compared to the other scores I was putting up in chase before, I was kind of worried that um, this particular driver was going to be able to chase me really well. And uh, luckily, I, I guess he didn't. Slightly lower score by the end of it. So that is that. Uh, took the victory here. I'll uh, scroll over to that page. You'll see me on the podium. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoy these tunes and walkthroughs. Appreciate you watching the channel. Um, if you do like it, then like it. Great. If not, then that's okay. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I will continue to do these videos. Leave a comment um, or suggestion on what you'd like to see next. Thanks and have a great day, guys.